Welcome to MEB. This is episode 14, Mix and Split Points. Up until now, we've focused on single unit material balances. However, most chemical processes involve many process units, and very soon we will extend the logic to problems with multiple units. But before we do that, this episode covers two very common features of multiple unit processes, the mix point and the split point. A mix point is where two process streams merge together to form one stream. For example, the confluence of two rivers is nature's mix point. In a chemical process, a mix point may be a dedicated vessel with baffles and stirring, or it could be as simple as a T-intersection with two inputs and one output in a piping network. Of course, there are differences between these two, but this is a topic for later courses. For our purposes in material and energy balances, these are functionally the same thing. You've already seen a few examples involving mixers, but here I'll just recap and highlight some of the important implications of mix points. First, the flow rate of the output stream is always equal to the sum of the input streams. The flow rates of the inputs do not necessarily have to be equal, but they could be. Second, the composition of the output stream must always be in between the compositions of the input streams. If you're not sure why, consider a general material balance just on the variables. x1i times m1 plus x2i times m2 equals x3i times m3. Since m3 equals m1 plus m2 by a material balance, we can simplify the material balance to the expression shown on the screen now. Looking at this formula, we can actually go a step further and say that the exit composition is actually a weighted average of the input compositions, where the weighting factors are the proportions of the flow rates. Also, a corollary of this is that if the composition of the output stream is equal to the composition of one of the input streams, then the other input stream must have the same composition as well. The split point is the cousin of the mix point, except in reverse. There is one input and usually two outputs. Just like the mix point, the overall material balance is still relevant, but the flow rates of the exit streams do not necessarily have to be equal. Split points are oftentimes confused with separators, possibly because separators also have one input and two usual outputs, and also begins with the letter S. However, a separation process alters the composition of the feed stream. In contrast, a split point does not alter the composition. I like to think about pouring a soda into two cups. A sip from either cup would taste the exact same because the composition is the same. Therefore, the composition variables of the outputs can automatically be set to equal the composition variables of the input. This has some rather interesting implications, particularly when it comes to the number of independent material balances that you can write around a split point. Take this example where we have two components in a 75% 25% composition in all streams. From the looks of things, we have two unknown flow rate variables and presumably two independent material balances since there are two components. But if you try to solve these material balances, you reach the technically true but perplexing result that zero is equal to zero. To understand what happened, study the material balances carefully. The composition cancels, and therefore neither equation is independent from the overall material balance. This means that, when doing a degree of freedom around a split point, you may only count one independent material balance. Generally, when species are in the same proportion everywhere in the process, they can be counted as a single thing, rather than the separate components that make them up. This is oftentimes seen with air. If there is no perturbation to the amounts of oxygen or nitrogen, then it is okay to treat air as a single chemical when performing a material balance. Episode 14 Learning Objectives Now that this episode is over, you should be able to 1. Explain why the output composition of a mix point must be the weighted average of the inputs. 2. Explain the similarities and differences between a split point and a separator. And three, explain why only one independent material balance applies for split points. That'll conclude this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.